Hello, this tidbit is about advocacy, and this time we're going to look at the issues that we're working on in advocacy, especially for this coming legislative session. So, before we get into that, I want to address what is a legislative session? Well, each year, our state government leaders, what we call the state legislature, they meet for a few months to decide what's going to be in the state's budget and make or change laws on important issues. And this is a really important time for us to advocate with our elected officials for the funding that we need in our early learning system. For this year, that legislative session is going to be between January and May of 2023. Child care resources is focusing on four major areas of um, improvements for our system during this legislative session. The first one is getting living wages and financial well-being for our early learning educators. The second is more mental health supports in early learning. The third is improving family access to working connections child care subsidies. And finally, supporting family, friend, and neighbor caregivers. And so I'm going to go into a little more detail about what we are trying to do in each of these areas. Under that first bucket, living wages and financial well-being for providers, we're asking the Department of Children and Youth and Families to come up with a plan for how they could raise provider wages to be living wages and wages that our early learning educators can thrive on. The second is to raise the reimbursements for Working Connections child care subsidies to be a lot closer to what they're charging families um, who are paying out of pocket. Third is that the reimbursements that when providers are supporting kids on subsidies, they are paid for the full month, not just for the days those child attends, because that's what it's like when a family pays out of pocket for child care. They pay for the full month. And that's what we're asking the state to do because we know that the providers are saving that slot for that child for the full month, not just the days the child is able to attend. And finally, uh, making background checks free for child care providers to make it easier for uh, new educators to get into this field and to be employed. Under the second bucket, mental health support and early learning, we're asking to expand the Holding Hope program. This program is made up of infant and early childhood mental health consultants that support the pro child care providers with addressing any behavioral health challenges coming up in their programs. And we want more consultants so that providers and kids get the help they need during these challenging times. The third area has to do with the state subsidy for child care, Working Connections Child Care, and helping more families have access to this important resource to make child care affordable. And we're asking that our state allow families that are using the homeless grace period to get to stay on that subsidy after 12 months so that families experiencing homelessness can have uh, continuous access to this really important piece of their stability. Third is making child support not count towards the family's income because often uh, the state will look at child, care, child support and say, oh, this is what the family is receiving. But we know that often the family is not receiving that full amount of um, child support and may not be paid in full. And that is a double burden for the primary caregivers. And third is allowing for families to be eligible for subsidies while they're searching for work so that they have childcare while they're looking for work and also can easily uh, take new jobs as they come up without having to worry about uh, applying for childcare and getting approved for their subsidies. Number four is supports for family, friend, and neighbor caregivers. And we're asking that our state expand the play and learn groups that support these caregivers. Did you know that 70% of kids under the age of five are actually taken care of mostly by their grandparents, aunties and uncles, older siblings, and trusted families, friends, and neighbors? Well, play and learn groups offer support for those caregivers to help them with the care that they're giving to little ones, connecting them with resources and supports, and helping those kids be ready for school when they enter. 
And now that you know what we're working on, I hope you're really excited and ready to join us because we can use all the help we can get uh, to make these changes happen. And I have some cool opportunities. We would love for you to join our advocacy day in Olympia where we will be traveling down to connect with our elected officials and talk about these important issues. That will be on February 1st from 9.30 to 3.30 p.m. in Olympia. And we will be offering a $150 gift card for child care providers, families, and caregivers uh, to cover the cost of that day so that you can join us and make your voice heard and share your stories, which are so important for making this change happen. So sign up and hope to see you soon. Thank you.